Dear students, in this lecture, we shall try to understand the difference between functions and relations. Let's get started. Primarily, the difference is not a big one, but it matters. So, we should know the difference no matter how small it is. The first point in this differentiation is that the formation of ordered pairs, they reveal a certain pattern. Let's take an example here. Uh, this is the set of ordered pairs for a function and that is a set of ordered pairs for a relation. The noteworthy thing is that, uh, that the value of x in the ordered pairs of a function it is different. It is 1, it is 2, and it is 3. It is not being repeated. Whereas, when I talk about the ordered pairs of a relation, they are getting repeated. As I have highlighted, that 1 and 1, they are, they are being repeated in the first and the third ordered pair. So, um, it is not suitable to call it a function. We should call it a relation. Uh, another way of looking at it is that one can create three and one can also create seven as the value of the dependent variable. So this is another distinction that we must remember when it comes to the differentiation between uh, a function and a relation. In addition to that, in some books, you will see uh, in some footnotes that uh, function is basically a situation where we can say it is a single valued function whereas in relations we have multi valued function basically they are not two different things altogether they are similar but there is a slight difference we can say that functions are single valued functions whereas the relations they can be called as multi valued functions but there is another caveat we cannot, uh, or I should say, that these terms are quite outdated and they are left in the footnotes only. Therefore, it is safer to use functions and relations in our discussion of functions. Now, the second uh, test that we can put to see if we are dealing with a function or a relation is that that it has to go through a test which is known as vertical line test it is a simple test where we uh, make a vertical line and we see if it is passing through one point from that function curve or it is going through or intersecting or cutting the function from more than one places it is better understood with the help of a diagram. Let us see that diagram. There are basically six cases here. The first one is, let us not pay attention to the answer here. However, we shall be able to verify. Let's see what happens here. This is the function in this blue color. And this is that vertical line that is known as the line of vertical line test. As you can see, there is only one point where it is meeting the function curve and there is no other point. So we can say that it is a function. Another example would be with this function which is having a kink at the origin. And if it is put to that test, we can see that it is only one point having the intersection. Now if I talk about this situation, you can see in a very difficult way that the arrows, they are there. You know, these arrows are blue, just like they are there for the curve of a function. So actually, the function is having this vertical line and it is behind the red line that is the line of vertical line test. So it means that it is lying on the function. The vertical line is lying on the function. And every point that exists here is basically the point of intersection. So it is having maybe an unlimited number of the points of intersection and we must not call it a function because function intersects only on one point. Let's take another example that is having these uh, wiggles and uh, there's only one point where it is intersecting and that point is here. 
on the x-axis so we can say it's a function now let's come to this function which I am calling function but it might not be a function it is intersecting the vertical line on two points so it is not a function it is something else what is that something else we'll see and this half uh, circle is also intersecting at one point so it's a function so these two cases that is 3 and 5 these are not functions and they may be called as relations because they are having multiple points of intersection now uh, mapping of function we have uh, limited knowledge of that which is good enough to understand this but this is also used to differentiate between a function and a relation uh, above there is a diagram that shows the uh, map of a function where for each value of x there is a value of y so there is no value of x which is creating two values of y in this case these are denoted with a and b and f shows the function so uh, there is one to one uh, correspondence of these elements whereas when we talk about a relation you can see the element 2 of uh, a set a gives rise to 4 and it gives rise to 6 and it also gives rise to 10 so 2 is giving rise to 4 6 and 10 so this is definitely not a function and we can say that a is b, uh, having a relation with b so this is how we can differentiate between functions and relations not just through one test rather at least from three angles thank you